How you guys doing today? Good. Yeah, my name is Ron, Ron Henderson, and uh, thank you all for inviting me out here today. Uh, I know Daniel, I know Vine, we're going to meetings. I've just been out here in Indio, or out here in the desert area for like the last couple months. I just got a treatment. I see a couple of fellas that I know uh, from ABC. Uh, you know, I'm going to come to you today. Uh, you know, they mostly talked about NA, and the NA is a great program, it's a great fellowship for people to come that. Uh, to have issues with drugs or, or substance abuse or alcohol, whatever it is, it's a good place to come and get fellowship. But, uh, you know, I want to just touch on you guys. Tomorrow, September 11th, tomorrow I'll be one year off probation and I'm getting off of uh, uh, AB 109 uh, successfully. So uh, I'm going to get my paperwork. And uh, I was at that point once before I completed probation. But I'm going to talk to you guys because he, he brought up a term that I'm going to look up that's about this uh, criminogenics thing. Uh, a lot of people in the, in, in, the, in the clinical fields of uh, treatment, they like to talk about the biopsychosocial disease. And, uh, and what, if I say something to offend you, good, because you need to be offended. If you're sitting up in here, you need to come have a decision today, make a decision, I'm going to make a change today about something. Because uh, I, I've been in situations like this before, I've been in seats like this. I'm 54 years old now. I just got out of treatment maybe a month and a half ago from uh, MFI. Third time in treatment in two years. It's the first time I ever started about doing treatment before. I'm like, I got some type of problem. I got some type of issue. So what qualifies me to be up here? I've been doing time since 1986. You know, it's in and out of prison, level four, shoe yards, uh, for bank robberies, uh, uh, grand theft, the whole nine yards. I'm, I'm kicked on rides. I've been sprayed uh, uh, the whole nine, the whole gun, you know, so cell extraction, the whole nine yards. But I'm not here to talk about that, but I'm just saying I've been through these different things. And what I'm telling you, what I found out, <clears throat> yes, I have a substance abuse problem, but that was just one component. What I got is a criminal addictive thinking problem. I never thought I had a criminal addictive thinking problem. I grew up in Compton in the hood. Uh, one of my best friends, Simon Wilcox, he played in NFL football. He's on all NFL access. I know a few celebrities, different people of that. But I found out my thinking got was my worst enemy that put me in this position. And like I said, I'm 54, getting myself together. I just in treatment. I just got my business license. Uh, yesterday, I just got to start up a travel agency. Uh, I'm a consultant now, and uh, this is what I do. I come out. I come out to speak to people. Uh, next year, I'm gonna be making a lot of money. But it's not about the money. It's about giving back and being of service. And, and what I find, if you guys are not taking advantage of the services today, like I see the guys doing right there talking about the HVAC, uh, the Social Security, I will be on them. You know, if, if, if I was my age right now, I'd be on the HVAC because uh, it's, a, it's a trade, it's a tool to get you, get you in the door. It's felony friendly. You have a tool under your belt, a trade under your belt that nobody can ever take from you. College in the desert, the Pomona, uh, Pomona College, uh, 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 Cal Poly has a good program too. Uh, he's a professor called Dr. Renfrew Reese, called a reintegration program. Dr. Renfrew Reese has a tenure there. He was an ex felon, did five years in prison. He's got his master's degree. He's a doctor. He takes people all over the world, students. He has a, he's out of a place called the reentry program at Pomona Desert. If you're not taking advantage of your education or taking advantage of any of the, uh, the service that they have to offer you today, then something's definitely wrong. You know, I know nobody wants to be here. Oh, I'm sitting up in this chair. I've got to come in here, blah, blah, blah. But, you know, I found out. Over the period of time, and doing this time and doing my progress, probation officers not my, they're not my enemy. You know, I've been my own worst enemy. I put myself in this situation where I got somebody to tell me, come sit in this seat, you got to sit over here, you step in the reception center, you got to go over here, take your bag, you got to do this. I put myself in those positions. I'm not saying that there's, there's, there's not obstacles out there. I used to be saying, oh, it's the man, it's the white folks, man, they won't give me a chance, blah, blah, blah. It was myself. It's always been myself, my thinking. Uh, this time, last time in treatment and before, well, I went to treatment, I found out there's another component. I need some therapy about some things. I'm not going to sit here and say that's for everybody. Some people come in the rooms at night, college economics, they get a sponsor, uh, they do the 12 steps, they go to meetings and they tell you that's it. Some people get that spiritual awakening, they say, oh, I went to church and, I was, and I, was, I was clean. Some people get that spiritual awakening, some people just quit cold turkey and they do their thing. But I find out about <laughs> people that I associate with, my thinking, my thoughts every day is what's going to dictate my behavior. You know what I'm saying? I, I mean, I ain't going to lie. I see that we get it today. I got a job. I work for the mission. I work for the thrift store. I got the key to the store, I got the, lock, I got the combination, I do the cash rest, and I'm like, hey, I don't want to work for no money, you know what I'm saying? But uh, I have those responsibilities today, and I just had this job for like, like a month. And so people will take a chance on you, but will you take a chance on yourself, you know? And uh, the fastest growing business owners out there are women, you know? And uh, uh, I'm over at ABC, and there's a couple guys in here, most people are trying to fight to get their kids back. Women have lost their kids to drugs and substance abuse, men have lost their kids and family, family type. You can get those things back. But first, you got to get your thoughts back. You know, to make the determined de de decision is that uh, I'm going to make a change today. And it, and it starts with today. You know, if, if you're not taking advantage of any of these resources in here, then I, I, I would just say that's just a stupid choice. I'm not calling you stupid, but that's a stupid choice because 
Uh, I'm going to a meeting tomorrow at the AB 109 uh, uh, Proposition 47 Committee. And, they, and they, they, they allowed me to be an honorary member because the story that I told them, but it's going to be probation officers, RI, uh, uh, mental health people. And these people, they set the fundings every year, 30, $30 million a year they get. They set for beds, bed space. They're going to have like Indio, uh, Banny, beds for mental health, all these types. They, they're the ones that dictate the programs for who's getting the beds and who's getting the funding. And there's a lot of money changing hands. So there's people out there working for our benefit, whether you want it or not. We've got to come up in here, I don't want to hear all this type of stuff. Take advantage of what's going on today. I, if, if I, I wouldn't leave here without having somebody's name and number or having somebody's commitment to say that you're going to help me get to the next step. But the first step you got to take is the step in the head is that I'm going to make the change myself and make the determination. This is my speaker one sheet. i got a, a business mentor been helping me. Like I said, i got my business license. And this is what I do. I, I, I professionally speak. This is, this is what I feel is my gift. And i got all my, uh, my bio on here, all my information. And uh, th this is what I do. I, you know, I go out and I'm going to make a lot of money. I'm going to travel the world. I travel different states and, uh, you know, to give back and be a service. So my name is Ron. I just want to hope you guys take advantage of the resources they got. Thank you. Thank you.